All right, hello everyone. So this is going to be talking about the Deviat North Section 3 Rodion, as well as Bygone Days Ishmael Ego Banner that's going to be upcoming. And this Bygone Days stuff here, uh, what Kim ji -hoon said in his little um, classroom lecture is that uh, the next next banner, uh, the Zwei banner, that Zwei ID is going to get the ego over here. So that means that the next next ID is 100% going to be a 3-star Zwei West Ishmael. We don't know what else is on that banner, but that is what we know from Kim ji -hoon. This bygone days Ishmael ego does look like it's going to belong to someone like uh, Butler Ishmael because it is bygone days and bygone days Ishmael... Um, if we look at someone like Yisang, it's going to be more related to sinking than anything. And Butler Ishmael is technically a sinking character, but she's also a crit character. So maybe it's something that will help her get her crit chance or something to give her more sinking application. I don't really know. Right now, there's not really a humongous use for this character. She doesn't particularly apply sinking count very well. She doesn't apply sinking very well. She kind of just does stuff and she crits and then she inflicts a bunch of binding with her crits and so on and so forth, right? Like she just is a very good potency applier if she can crit on someone who's slower than her. It's kind of wonky. So really no clue what they are planning here with this bygone days Ishmael. But if it makes her more viable to be put into a sinking team, I'll just be happy. But uh, I, I don't know. It feels very unlikely that they can actually do that with this character. The ego would have to be very, very strong to make it work. All right. So let's just get into it. Limbus Company. All right, so banner is gonna last until the third of October and starts on the nineteenth. Starting off, we see it's gonna hit one target and it's probably going to be a slashing ego. So slashing ego, single target on the non-corroded form. All right, and then after that, we can see the artwork is just fabulous every single artwork due to their increased gacha money i think is just getting better and better and better look at that art i love the little ribbon in her hair and yeah the, the suit is just so damn good corroded form also very very well designed because look at all that hair i love the orange hair interwoven into the roots that she's firing out here and this ego also if you corrode it it becomes aoe so i really wonder what the hell this ego is going to do to synergize well with this butler ishmael All right, now we go into Deviat. For Deviat, she can see Rodion's eating chocolate bars again. She loves eating one, two on skill one. And then we see one, two, three on skill two. But I'm going to pause a little bit here because you notice that she's glowing here and she's not glowing here. So she's gaining some sort of charge or some sort of unique status on herself. Or maybe she's changing modes on the weapon or whatever the hell. I, I really don't know what is being done here, but she's gaining some sort of charge here that changes her moves a little bit. So yeah, it looks really, really cool here. Uh, just not sure how it's going to play out because the game technically broke a little bit because they had to like do the mechanics of this character and apparently the mechanics of this character are very new. So that's why some of the parts of the game broke. That's why we got 1300 Lunacy. So I don't, if it's just charge, I don't know how it can actually break. So there has to be some funky stuff that they added into the game that this character is trying to introduce here. All right, for the third skill, we got one, two, and three. Then we also have one, two, three, and then four with the skill 3-1. It's the exact same skill. It's just that this one has a certain amount of charge, perhaps, and the other one does not have a certain amount of charge. The the three dash one skill here does an additional uh, uh blunt slam with the suitcase, and I'm wondering if they actually added different types in a single move. For example, uh, in Ruina, you can actually have a skill that does blunt slash and pierce in one go. So this attack here does look like it did blunt blunt and then slash so i really don't know if they actually bothered to do that that's why the game broke or i don't know what the hell new mechanic this character is going to bring in uh that actually had to make them like do a bunch of fixes and then here a funky thing happens uh gregor gets hit by this kurokumo clan character over here and then we see heathcliff ishmael sinclair gregor and otis in the next scene, Heathcliff is gone, 
And quite a lot of the other sinners like Ishmael and Sinclair are gone. It's now Dawn, Masalt, and Yisang, and Otis is still here. Otis was in the previous scene as well. It's just, what happened to the other three IDs after Gregor got hit? Is this some new team swapping mechanic that they've introduced to kind of benefit the new system where they're trying to uh, make it so that chain battles and all the team stuff is going to be important? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, when Gregor gets hit, the suitcase triggers and for some reason, only Otis remains while the other three IDs get swapped out to other IDs. So I really wonder what is the unique mechanic here that's making this happen. I'm guessing currently it's just team swapping because uh, I didn't really see any other special effects happen. Uh, okay, no, there is one special effect that does happen. She goes from no charge. Like you see here, she has no charge on her. There's no special effects on her. And when she comes back, she has charge. So it's either a gain charge mechanic or is a team swap, or is both, where she team swaps and then she gains charge. So I really have no clue what it is. You can leave your own comments for your own theories, but this looks like quite a big game-changing mechanic that we've never seen before here. All right. And then the last one is going to be quite funky, because after attacking, she just dies. The box detects that she's doing some unauthorized behavior, and so it just detonates in the vicinity and kills her. Doesn't seem to kill her enemy, it's just her. So I'm thinking that this is another conditional thing where maybe she's opening the box too much to get too much power and then after that the box is not supposed to be opened that much then she blows herself up. Uh, it, I, I really don't know what the hell happened here. I'm guessing it's like Mind Whip but opposite. Mind Whip is you need this amount otherwise you have 50% chance to kill your friend. And this one is if you go above this amount of charge then you are going to die or you have a something percent chance to die. I really don't know what the hell's going on here, but Rodion has the ability to die. So yeah, that is going to require a little bit of micromanagement. And I love a little bit of micromanagement in my IDs. And I hope that they are very strong to compensate for this little bit of micromanagement. Something like Earl King's design is very well done. You have to micromanage the character a little bit, but it's not too hard. It's actually quite simple. It's just that if you micromanage very well, you're able to stack up the stacks of coffins on him, and then you can do some unga booga damage with him. So yeah, something like that for Deviat Rodion will be quite welcome as well. Okay, and then the last one here, we get to see a happy Rodion slashing with the sword. So that means she's most likely going to be just a slash ID. And she's also using the Pollute Nitsa high power delivery mode. And uh, from my googling, Pollute Nitsa is supposed to be some sort of noon demon that uses a scythe and cleaves you when you're in the fields or something like that. I don't actually know the Slavic mythology, but I'm guessing that sword there is supposed to represent the scythe from the Polonitsa delivery thing. Yep. Okay, so that's pretty much all I got from this trailer. There's nothing else besides this. So I think Bygone Days is just going to be some sort of sinking related thing that is related to this Edgar family butler Ishmael. And this Deviat introduces a brand new mechanic with that team swapping thing with a bunch of charges stuff and also has the ability to kill yourself if you don't manage the resource correctly. So that's going to be quite interesting to go and find out later on. Uh, if we look at the other egos for like Bygone Days, we can probably get a little bit of a better picture picture on what the IDs actually do. Let's check like season four, right? Yeah, season four, bygone days, Gregor. I actually forgot what this ego does. It just does sinking stuff, right? As well as curse. Yeah, so maybe Ishmael could be something like this. I really don't know. This ego is not particularly useful from what I can remember. I don't particularly remember this being used, so I don't think it's very important. But the other one, bygone days, Yisang, is very, very good due to the interaction with Echoes of the Manor. Because if you do this thing here onto someone with Echoes of the Manor, you actually trigger Echoes of the Manor multiple times. And that's very, very good for just triggering and then you get a lot of extra plus uh, sinking counts and whatnot because this is still technically a single attack. So you actually get quite a bit of positive count from Echoes of the Manor and whatnot. So yeah, this ego is actually very, very good for sinking stuff. I really wonder what Ishmael's going to get. I'm guessing Ishmael's bygone days will be something with poise gain. Maybe like when you hit a sinking target, you gain poise. Or maybe you have higher crit chance when you hit something with poise or something. I, I, I have no clue. There's like so many things that that ego could do when it comes out. But yeah, besides that, I'm honestly not looking forward to the ego itself. Because I don't really have a reason to use the maid Ishmael at all. Because like, in if you look at the sinking team, right? You don't really need like that Ishmael. 
you have like what solemn lament Yi Sang, you have earl king you have a lot of other big boys like otis butler uh, linton gregor with solemn lament and yeah i i feel like all the slots for sinking are kind of filled up right now you can even do like dichi or mola ishmael as a filler slot you don't really want to put in made ishmael because of a count being not that great so yeah i don't know what they're going to do to make it more viable for the sinking team but maybe she's supposed to be a full potency applier right so maybe the ego will just make it so that when she applies sinking potency she applies more or when she hits something with sinking gain more crit and more crit gives her more potency here maybe something like that yeah Anyway, whatever other theories you have, feel free to comment them down below. I got no other theories for this thing over here. Just have to wait until Monday to see the actual kits. Alright, so that's it for this video. Leave your comments for what you think that these uh, characters are going to be. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.